Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today's vlog is just going to be a cozy Sunday vlog. I am recovering from bronchitis, so if you can hear that in my voice, I'm so sorry, but today was the first day I actually felt like getting up and putting real clothes on. I put on a little bit of makeup, not like my normal every day, but just like the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder, I think it's called. It's like a really light finish, so it's not much, but it's something to make me feel normal. I just felt like picking up my camera since I haven't in literally a week because I've been so sick. I'm sitting outside with Trooper right now and it's actually kind of cold out, which is so amazing. It's been awful. This week has been like such a nice week for Florida. We've had like really cooler days and I've been trapped inside sick all week. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I went in on Wednesday, Thursday this week and um, my symptoms started on Tuesday. I just had like flu-like symptoms or COVID-like symptoms. I went and got tested for COVID, flu, and strep. All were negative. So I was diagnosed with an upper respiratory infection, which then turned into bronchitis because my symptoms of like the fever and everything got better. Pretty much every symptom except for the cough. It just like moved deeper into my chest and that's why I'm like losing my voice from coughing so much. So I had to go to the walk-in clinic yesterday to like just kind of follow up and they told me that I have bronchitis. <laughs> um, so now I'm being treated for that, but you know, I'm just trying to get better here so I can get back to my life. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so crazy. What are you doing? What are you doing, crazy dog? So I've had a pretty chill morning. My voice is driving me crazy, you guys. I like was listening to the clip I just recorded. I'm like, oh my God, should I redo that? But like, I can't change my voice. <laughs> So, so sorry. I'm just hoping I don't actually lose my voice. I had a relaxing morning overall. I did a little bit of planning and I don't know, I just kind of wanted to like use today to prepare for the new week, but also still kind of relax because I'm still recovering, you know, but today is like the best I felt so far. I have literally zero symptoms other than this cough. Um, I also had some DMs on Instagram of people telling me that I should get retested for COVID and I just wanna throw it out there that they did retest me yesterday when I was at the walk-in clinic. So I got tested earlier in the week at my doctor's office and then I got tested again yesterday and they also sent it off on Wednesday for the PCR test or whatever, which was negative, which is the one they do in the lab. So I promise you, I don't have COVID, thankfully. Um, Cause I really thought I might have COVID again. I had it last December, if you guys remember. But this was like worse than COVID, I swear. I was so freaking sick. I had a fever of 102. I felt like I was dying. I'm better now and Chad took such good care of me. He actually ended up having to take a day off of work because he didn't want to leave me alone because I was so sick and just running a fever. Ugh, I couldn't do anything. It was kind of scary to be that sick. So I'm really glad that I feel semi-normal now. And the doctor said I'm no longer contagious. I finished my Z-Pack. Technically, you just have to be on antibiotics for like 24 hours, I think. So Chad can finally sleep in the room with me again. He's been literally camping out here on the couch the entire time that I've been sick because he was trying not to get sick and you know, he never got sick. So I guess it worked by him not sleeping with me while I was coughing and everything. But what a week, you guys. Ugh. I'm gonna go run like two errands. Honestly, I just wanna go get Starbucks and I need to go to Target to get something for dinner tonight. Okay, I just got to Target. I'm writing a really quick list because I do not feel like walking around in Target for fun right now because it's super packed. I just see like so many cars in this parking lot. It's Sunday and there are people everywhere. So I just like don't wanna be out in this right now since I'm not like feeling 100%. So I'm just writing a quick little list. I need to get hand sanitizer for my car because I ran out. I wanna get some chai so that I can make a chai latte tonight. And then I think I'm gonna do raviolis for dinner tonight. It just kind of sounds good, you know, pasta and just like a can of sauce because I don't feel like making my own sauce, I'm lazy. Um, and I think that is really honestly it. I'm gonna grab all that and I'm just gonna stop at the Starbucks that's inside. Oh, and by the way, I got this new really cute brown silicone phone case for my new phone on Amazon. It's a little bit dirty from like my makeup and stuff, um, but I love this case. It's such a pretty brown color, so I'll link in the description if you guys want a cute little fall phone case. at Target I didn't even end up getting a drink from Starbucks because the line was way too busy so I'm just gonna go home and make my chai tea back home I'm gonna make my chai tea latte every time in the past when I've made these I can get them just like Starbucks iced one but I've never actually tried to make it hot before at least I don't think I have if I have I don't remember so I'm going to just use lactate milk because I forgot to get 
oat milk and we have almond milk but I don't really like almond milk <clears throat> anymore I usually just do oat milk or I do the lactate so I'm gonna use lactate and this and I'm just gonna do like equal parts and I'm gonna put it in my arachino thingy and just get it all nice and fluffy and hot made a little cheese and crackers tray for a little snack and this is actually turkey pepperoni which I did not mean to get um, so I'm gonna try it turkey pepperoni I wonder if it tastes any different honestly I don't eat pepperoni enough to be able to tell the difference So since it's Sunday and I don't always get to it during the week, I'm gonna go ahead and do a journal entry. I'm trying to get better about doing this, just like kind of putting my thoughts on paper. I find it really, really therapeutic, getting my thoughts out. Even if it's just like a summary of how my day went, just honestly doesn't really have to be guided at all. I was doing that like five minute journal and then I had another guided journal from Target for a while. Both of those I've just kind of lost interest in. I find myself more interested in just writing like from my mind without trying to follow any specific guide. That's what I've been trying to do and so I'm gonna do that for today. sent the cutest package in the mail. I've never gotten any kind of PR from them and this is an advent calendar. Countdown to Christmas. How exciting. So I'm gonna open this up and just see what it looks like. Obviously I'm not gonna actually do it yet until December 1st but it's all skincare which is super exciting. Packaging is so pretty. It has me so excited for Christmas. Oh my gosh. Here's everything but it looks like you can actually like set up the different things. I don't I don't know. I'm gonna have to read this. Stand by. Okay, so these are all the pieces and then it came with these lights, little Christmas lights, and I think you're supposed to like thread it through these and then you put all of the pieces in and they're all numbered so you kind of like know which to go for. So like this would be on the 8th, you know? This will be really, really fun for Vlogmas to like open these every day. But I'm not going to set this up right now. In fact, the directions are actually really, really confusing. I don't know if I'm going to set this up at all. But I will definitely be doing the advent every day, which is super exciting. Okay, just for fun, I set them all up in order. So it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all the way to 24. So here they all are. I'm going to put them away now. Thank you so much to Rituals for sending this. I can't wait to get into them next month, starting with mystery box number one. Just feel free to invite yourself up here right now. <laughs> Hold on, please. I got these immunity boosting shots at Target. I don't know if they're gonna do anything, but I like to hope they will. So I'm gonna take one. I don't know which one I'm gonna take though. Oh God, I'm really glad I read the rest of this because this has cayenne pepper in it. Oil, oregano, elderberry, ginger root, and cayenne pepper. I really feel like they should have put that on the front for people like me who don't read because I've done one of these with cayenne pepper and it's super spicy, which isn't bad because there's good properties to that. But right now I do not want cayenne pepper because my throat is sore, <laughs> so. We're gonna skip that. This one has echinacea root and flower, black pepper, turmeric root, and ginger root. So just kidding. We're gonna do this one first. Ooh. All right. Got this. Down the hatch. Oh my god. What? This tastes like it has cayenne pepper in it. Why are they out here fooling me? Okay, I thought I would do a little bit of Animal Crossing gameplay because I've been dying to play again. I just started experimenting since the new update and I've been sick this week so it's been like the perfect week to be playing Animal Crossing. Um, I redid my entrance but I've done nothing else with my island. It's such a work in progress so please just disregard. I thought I would use this time to kind of test out some of the new updates. I know a lot of you guys used to love when I would share Animal Crossing gameplay. So yeah, let's just play some Animal Crossing. <laughs>
make this four cheese ravioli that I got at Target for dinner and a can of sauce. Told you guys I'm really lazy and I don't feel like making the sauce good and I really like this like just plain tomato basil sauce. I feel like it's not bad. While that's cooking, I'm gonna make some banana nut muffins for a little treat tonight slash breakfast dessert for in the morning. And this is just like a box recipe because again, I'm lazy. <laughs> put the muffins in the oven and I'm about to have my four cheese ravioli. Yummy. This is like such an easy meal if you're someone who lives by yourself or you're like me and you are by yourself every third night. Love the tomato basil sauce because it has like chunks of tomatoes in it. I think I'm gonna go watch some Netflix. I don't even know what I'm watching now. Chad and I finished Made yesterday and that was one of the best shows that I have watched in a long time. Let me know if you guys saw that series on Netflix. It was so good. Chad and I were just like hooked on that this week and we finished it last night and then we started this like crime show that's on the top 10 right now but I have like separate shows that I watch with him than what I watch by myself so I have to find a new by myself show to watch. It's about to start getting dark and it feels like way later than it is because daylight savings time just happened yesterday. Um, So I'm over here like feeling like it's time for bed. That's also because I'm sick. Okay, I'm about to get in the bath. I just want to really quick say those muffins are so good. They're just like Betty Crocker banana nut muffins. They have like chopped up walnuts in them. Super good, easy little nighttime snack. And now I'm gonna go take a bath. I have the bath filling up now. I want to show you guys the two books that I'm reading right now. I haven't started this one yet, but this one I did start just earlier this week. So I'm not very far in. I found these really cute bookmarks by the way at Target. They're magnetic, how cute. So. I'm reading this. Let me know you guys' thoughts. I know this is a really popular one. And then this one as well. I finished the last one. I wanted to show you guys, but I can't find the book. I literally don't know what I did with it. The one that I just recently finished, it took me forever, but it was very good. So if I find that, I'll share it in the next vlog because I literally can't think of it right now. My brain is just like fried. I just got out of the bath. And as I said before, it feels so much later than it is right now. It's really throwing me off. I feel like it's so much later. I don't know. And I know it's only an hour and everyone says it every single year, but really it feels so much later. But I'm going to keep reading my book and just kind of chill in my room, air dry. But I'm going to end the vlog here because I do want to edit this. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And if you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.